will arrive. Do we not believe in the article of faith? We believe that we are part of the communion of saints. We believe in the communion of saints because our life is patterned on the pattern of Jesus Christ, on the commandments of Jesus Christ, on the message of Jesus. And what is the, the message? Love God with all your heart and mind and love others as thyself. And if we do so, we are going to be part of that kingdom. That kingdom that comes to us in Jesus Christ and through him one day we will also, as we become now children of the eternal Father, because he reconciled us on the cross by his very death to the Father, we too one day will achieve that glory. A few moments from now, you are going to say, the Christ who died is the Christ we proclaim he is alive, is the Christ who will come in glory. And so his glory is yours and mine too. So when we celebrate the Feast of the Assumption, we are celebrating also our hope. That where she is, we too one day will arrive. And so today I ask you for three things. First and foremost, to look at Mary as a model of each one of us. A woman of faith. A woman who believed the message of God to the angel. That although she was human like you and I, she put total trust in the Lord. Blessed are those not to bring me in the world. Blessed are those not to nurse me from their breath. Blessed are those who do the will of the Father who hear the word of God and live it. So that's the first lesson we learn. The second learn, lesson we learn is that Mary is our hope. Thank God that in the plan of salvation, God gave us a mother. That even when he hung on the cross, before he expired, he looks at her and said, well done woman, well done my mother, but now you are not mine anymore. I give you now in the hands of the church. And so you are the mother of the church. Take care of them. Because in their human nature, they sometimes want to give up. And through you as a mother, you are going to, to be there to enhance them. To give them that hope. To cultivate them. To take them away from the, e from the evil hands of the evil one. And protect them. And the third one is the woman of love. She loved God so much that she does not know to, how, where to stop, even when sacrifices was put on demand on her. When she was told that she was going to be the mother of God. That when she see her spouse Joseph was about to leave because he was seeing in her the fruit of a child. She cannot tell him, but she asked God to intervene. The, pro the problem that she has as she went to Bethlehem to seek shelter. And there the child was born in a state. The suffering she had in those days when she has to make ends meet with the little income of her husband Joseph. When she see her son being rejected because he preached the truth and the people rejected him. In fact, they want to destroy him. What she saw on the way to Calvary what she saw on that cross handing, what she saw in her arms after they gave him to her in her hands. How much she rejoiced on the day of the resurrection and how much she rejoiced more when the Holy Spirit came upon the early church as one of the windows speak very loudly and, and beautifully. When the Holy Spirit came, she was there. As the bride of the Holy Spirit, she invoked him to come and strengthen now the infant church of her son. And that's why we pray to her. That through her faith, that through her obedience, that through her love, we can please God. And today we rejoice because her joy and her glory is our hope. I pray that she will always intercede for us. That she look down from heaven upon us, we who are still in the journey. That she who is in front of us as that legion ready to fight any enemy in our way, one day she will lead us to her blessed Jesus, which is the goal and the aim of each one's life.